hey everybody welcome to draw in art in this video you will learn to draw a cat so this cat drawing lesson helps you to demonstrate how you can draw a cat easily using a single pencil so let's begin with it okay so first of all I'm drawing a box like this as a guideline for overall drawing a cat that boy is Benny Hanna. After that, I'm going to draw a contour drawing of cat as a rough sketch just by looking at the reference photo that I'm going to give you the link of the reference photo in the description down below. So check that out after this video. Now I'm going to divide it right down the middle and that's how I draw the guidelines because these lines helps with symmetry and keeping everything aligned with the drawing. Okay, once I have a structure of basic guideline of the cat face features, now I'm going to draw more deep details to make the cat sketch stand out. But make sure that you follow the reference photo for keeping everything aligned and symmetrical. So I'm just tweaking up a little bit of things that everything on the right place and that's how it will look like after getting done all right now I'm going to go first with the indentation process rather than shading directly and you can see here how effectively this works when it comes to draw cat fur so I'm using a wooden tool for this indenting process what do you need to do is to not forget the direction of each fur because that's how this technique will work otherwise this can ruin the drawing so follow the reference photo for the exact guideline where the fur is going to be and then indent in that specific direction remember draw what you see not what you assume to be so that's how these indentation lines will look like I'm going to add more definition uh, by using the same pencil but applying a bit more pressure to define the darker areas in the CAD drawing. So now we are done with the final sketch. As I have already applied a rough strokes before that, now I'm using a blending stamp to blend out these strokes to evenly settle everything excluding the highlighted areas. So let's draw a cat eye by following the reference image. For this, I'm going to draw the thick, dark upper eyelid and lower eyelid at the same time. They are kind of almond shape in the alignment towards the center of the face. So I am shading the details of the eyes, but make sure that you leave some of the highlights when you draw the fleeks in the iris of the cat eye that will help you to get a realistic reflective effect I'm also using the black pencil by Faber Castell to add some of the darker areas uh, in the cat eye also I'm adding some extra highlights using a pen corrector because the contrast between the darker shaded areas and the highlighted areas really helps to add some depth and make your your cat eye seems more realistic so with the help of pen corrector i'm also adding the highlights in between the fleeks of the iris after that i'm going to overlay the graphite pencil on these indented short fur um, around the eye of the cat okay now i'm going to shade the nose area that's pretty simple but make sure that you do it smoothly and add a little bit skin texture over the nose as well but i'm using here a blending stamp to blend out the existing shading or a graphite around the nose or over the nose also i'm working on the cat fur as you can see that the fur is flowing outward from the eye and for that when you consider that all fur are flowing outward 
it makes the drawing a lot easier because you know the direction in which you have got to create the fine strokes of hair so follow the fur direction on the nose or every part of the cat face because this is all a game changer of the fur drawing when you understand the direction accurately so do not overthink about the process of fur placement just looking at your reference photo and replicate that so now let's cover the cat ear drawing as you can see that the cat ear is almost covered with the long fur and to draw them you just need to draw a long fine strokes like this to cover the cat ear with long fur by the way i have recorded a detailed video in which i'm going to demonstrate how you can draw short hair short fur long fur overlapped and whiskers etc so then that will be more easier to follow this tutorial or any cat drawing tutorial Okay, as I have completed the half of the cat face with the complete detailing, now I'm going to replicate the same thing on this side as well. So follow along with me. Alright, so for the viscous hair, you can see the example for now. I'm just building up the base layer for the viscous and I'll cover up the area around the viscous later on. Now let's come back to the left eye. I'm working on this eye like as I did on the right one. So I'm just making sure that I cover all of the details by following the reference photo here. And then I'm going to use the black pencil by Faber Culture to add one more darker layer over these four to really balance the contrast of the shadows and highlights. Now I'm going to work on the cat's mouth drawing. So I'm going to use a black pencil by Faber-Castell to add the first darker value and then using the HP pencil I'm going to add the mid-tones in the tongue area especially the textured one just by following the reference photo. So then with the help of blending stump I'm going to blend out everything with it. I'm also enhancing the darker values along with the shading just like this. So here I'm also shading underneath the mouth of the cat. So let's just finalize uh, this with final touch-ups. So I'm just adjusting the whiskers and making them more darker and sharp edged. Also I'm adding some sharp strokes underneath the mouth, biting small little sharp fur so this is it for today's one thank you so much guys for watching this video and support me here i really hope that this video is helpful in some ways i'll see you in the next one till then bye